Hello everybody, good morning. A couple days ago I shared some of my other drawings and I just have a few more to share with you guys. So don't worry, there won't be too many more of these drawing videos. I'm just getting out the last little bits here. So along with that alien planet stuff that I was doing and those alien animals and alien people, I was also drawing some alien plants. And I don't really have too much to say about these things, thankfully. They just kind of are as they are. Uh, a little bulb thing. This was at first how I was trying to draw an actual flower, but then I just kind of added, you know, a couple things and made its unique shape with just three things on it, and maybe there's six little petals total, I don't really know. And that's supposed to be some type of jelly goo on there, not the actual inside of a flower. And just a pink thing with the top, and uh, I was thinking uh, that this has like air pumping through it, but I don't really know, it's just uh, the way it looks, like the uh, inflaling arm tube man thing is what I was thinking of with that. And uh, I don't have names for any of these plants, really. I uh, just wrote down their colors so I don't forget what I used to color them with. Um, and then here we've got some more ground-based ones. Just a purple thing, a rock with chicken pox or something, and, uh, and other, some other type of plant thing with a thing in the center. I don't really even get it myself. Some type of lava looking plant. This one's definitely some type of goo that comes out of the leaf or that something. I have no idea. That's just a weird pink rock, a weird blue spiral rock, a littler uh, thing of that maybe, or maybe that's supposed to be a fruit or a vegetable. I do not really know. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'd rather talk about movies and stuff, which I might kind of do while we're doing this, or just talk a little bit about other things, but uh, I'm only just showing you a brief little bit of these plants. These shouldn't be that long of a video, so I'm just going to swap it over onto the next little assortment here. I think that this assortment is a lot more clever than the other ones. These ones look a little more cooler, a little more unique, like you would probably find them on an alien planet. Yeah, this is supposed to be some type of a plant thing that stands on legs and excretes some type of yellow lava goo, but it's not lava, it's just, you know, it looks like volcano, kind of, and a very tasty treat for animals. Uh, this thing is just a... I mean, I have no idea. It looks like something's popping out of a rock, and then something's popping out of it, and out of that, and I do not know. But if we were on an alien planet, we would find very, very bizarre looking stuff, and that was the whole premise. I haven't actually drawn half of these things in most of my drawings. Uh, just You might recognize a few of them in a few of my other drawings that I showed before. But honestly, these were... I was going to start drawing a lot more stuff back when I made these, but that was a couple years ago, and I kind of lost the fire for drawing for a little while and I mean I do kind of have a inspiration to start drawing again but it wouldn't be necessarily of alien creature stuff uh, it would be more of a different thing which I'll I'll go into today if I had time on a separate video but you know we shall uh, we shall see and then we go down here and we've got some stuff and things uh here we are. Look at that. You jealous? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's supposed to be like a birthday cake plant. I have no idea why. I don't know what that is either. Some type of pineapple thing on in the ground. I do not know. That's supposed to be like the shape of a tree, but it's a plant. It's really small. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one, I'll admit, was kind of inspired from the Alien Planet documentary where they show some gourd tree things which have like little legs and stand up, you know, kind of awkward. But instead of making it a tree thing, it's a little plant with that's basically like a little vegetable or something. So that is what these are. And uh, it's not much to marvel at, uh, you know, but uh, there we are. And then this one was supposed to actually be a tree, uh, but again, I, the trees were actually kind of harder for me to imagine on an alien planet. Plants were kind of easy, but a tree, one of the tall things in the cover of whole forest and whatnot, was not that easy to come up with. But uh, I haven't seen a tree like this. Uh, it's a T-shaped tree, and it's got some vines on it, as well as a bunch of fruits coming out from all over the tree, from the very bottom to the very top. Just all the way around, it's got its own little fruits. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think this would be that cool to see, like, on screen or something, but, uh, you know, what can you, what can you do is a stupid alien tree. Now, this dude was one of the first ones I tried to draw to be kind of like a plant-slash-animal type of thing, so it basically... When you, when an animal steps on one of these little vines over here, then it like expels like a large sound wave at them. So animal steps on it and it goes like, Brah! it just, you know, does a huge one that can maybe deafen you. I don't know. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of looks like that from the front and has little fruit things that are kind of tasty, but it's kind of got its own defense mechanism for if uh, it gets triggered, it, you know, is really loud and scares you away a little bit. So that is either a plant or an animal. You do not know. Could be both. And then there was this one, which this was specifically kind of designed for if people were to be on the island. I mean, yeah, it works for, you know, and the alien creatures as well. But it's supposed to be like a spider web plant where this is an actual plant, but it is almost like a freaking uh, creature because it does it gets its sustenance from other creatures body material so when it catches a creature in here it slowly starts to eat you kind of and it, that's what it does to feed itself it needs to eat so it does need to catch some type of animals in some way shape or form after a while and it has one big strong root point that it grows from it starts to grow and then it extends out for a little bit and uh kind of sits there and it you know is it blends in with the environment enough that you know an animal will usually walk into it so that is the spiderweb plant and now these ones were just kind of silly i was thinking of a uh, some type of plant thing that could be in a tree and then maybe at a like a seed like how trees do kind of grow around here or plants where you know the seed gets spreads around and then they grow uh, these seeds fall from the tree and then they grow smaller so you'll see these type of trees and clusters kind of because they grow so close to each other and I thought that'd be kind of different. Maybe that's what could form like a giant tree of this in a way, a huge fusion of a bunch of trees. Uh, I don't know. It was a small little idea. Uh, that one's called the suicide, <laughs> the suicide seed is what I was calling that, the suicide seed. And then the kamikaze seed, oh my god, <laughs> the kamikaze seed is almost like an animal, basically, because it can kind of aim for prey on the ground, and then, you know, just kind of waits, clings there, and waits uh, for a little animal or some kind to go down, and it will shoot down and try to, try to stab it and eat it, and then I guess it, you know, turns into a tree from there. I really... Didn't think about it, I don't remember at all, I didn't write any description down, so that's my best guess, the kamikaze seed. <laughs> oh, my mind is a little nuts, I know, don't you think? And then I drew this little number, and uh, yeah, this is also supposed to be a bizarre tree of some kind. I haven't seen one quite like this, this one also standing on like four legs and has a weird little center here, and uh, you know, has just like a main bush for the top of the tree with a bunch of you know tree extensions coming out just from the top uh that would be kind of bizarre to see there is nothing more for me to say about it so i'm just going to uh go on to the next one this one is supposed to be so this tree is supposed to be like a circular shaped so if you're you're seeing it from one view but if you're to look at it from the top there would be a whole circle basically it's like a dome tree in a way, except for there's no actual dome cover, but it is kind of walled on the center. And in the center is where some of the fruits and vegetables and, well, not vegetables, of course, but where the fruits are and where, you know, a lot of the wildlife would be if you were to look in here. Because these branches aren't easy to get through right here. This is basically like a huge bush on top of the tree. And you can enter it from the bottom, but the bottom almost has like a floor with how the branches form. So you could pretty much camp out in there if you wanted. If you were to go there, you could set up a sleeping bag and get some s'mores going. And you could camp out in this little tree. That was my idea for it, in a way. Uh, it didn't matter if it functioned well enough on the alien planet. That was just uh, one of the ideas. 
And then this dude was supposed to be a weird spiral shaped tree. So it would have like two sides on it and both sides having little spiral spires and then the center having the main, you know, leaf bush part kind of and, you know, three legs and just be a very bizarre out of place looking type of thing. And for the creatures on this planet, of which I don't even remember if I gave a name, uh, you know, would be able to go around and do their business in it. So... That is basically all of the tree designs that I came up for for the alien planet, and I don't think there's much more I need to say about it. Uh, you can check out the alien animals and the alien creatures, the alien people videos that I made, the drawings. Uh, those I think those drawings are far more better and visually pleasing to look at. And I also have my old Narnia drawings. I'm just going to do a few more drawing things just in a sec, but they will be very quick, and that might be one more video, and then that should be the last of the actual drawing videos. So, have a good one, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like, or if you hate it, click dislike. Also, share the video with your friends and enemies, subscribe to follow this channel, and hit that bell down below to be notified when I upload.